going on guys? Uh, today we are doing our install video for our 2016 to 21 Tacoma Raptor grill with our uh, TSS bracket and camera option. So let's get started. Okay guys, as part of the install, um, today we have a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. So this one doesn't come with a camera, which should be positioned here, but it will come with uh, the garnish or the TSS sensor, which is behind this emblem. Okay guys, we're gonna be using a cat claw uh, to remove the two clips on both sides of the grill. Uh, we can pop those off and then it's gonna take a 10 millimeter um, socket to pull out the two screws so that we can remove the grill. Okay guys, so we're gonna use a 10 millimeter uh, socket. I put money on an impact drill to remove these two screws so that we can uh, then remove the grill. Okay, now if you have a 2018 or newer, you guys are gonna have the TSS sensor uh, located right here. That's where the plug-in goes down and then into the sensor. So this brown clip here, you're gonna need to compress or somehow get it through. Then right here is gonna be the sensor connector. Now you're just gonna squeeze it, um, squeeze the plug from beneath and disconnect it right here so that the grill can fully come off the vehicle. Just like that. Once you get everything uh, removed up top, the 10 millimeter, the clip, the plug, uh, you scrub down here and just give a firm tug. I've already tugged mine, so you can pop the grill off. Okay guys, now that we've got the grill uninstalled, let's head inside and get our Tacoma Raptor grill installed on this vehicle. Okay guys, uh, now that we have the grill um, here, let's uh, get it apart so we can put our grill in. To start, we're gonna need to remove the TSS sensor. There's two screws here, the one on top, and then this clip here that you can just clip. Um, and then that way we can fully remove it. There's no need to disassemble this part because the other grill will clip in and we'll be able to put this onto the new grill. So let's go ahead and do that first. So three screws and that removes your TSS sensor. And then uh, we're gonna need to use uh, some dikes or something to clip this guy. For the Tacoma Pro Grill, you're gonna need these two um, large inserting washers. So you're gonna wanna clip these off. Just like that. And we're gonna be using that for our install. Okay guys, last step is the outer ring. There's gonna be eight small black screws uh, to remove off the top, bottom, and on the sides. And then there's a bunch of tabs um, along the same ring that we're gonna to need to compress and push through to release the main grill out of the shroud. The last part is compressing the pins and pushing them through to release the grill. What I like to use are some pliers and then a rag. And the reason I like using the rag is I'll uh, compress one of the clips, press it through, and then compress another one and it'll, it'll technically leave a gap. I'll slide this into the gap so that the clips don't press back up into their spot. So that way when you're halfway around and actually put some pressure on it, they don't all clip back in. So I recommend having the rag just as like a fail safe. So the trick here is to compress just a little bit and then actually just lean it backwards and then press forward and you'll see it kind of push through. Okay, so you get one, you get two, you can grab it, like that, okay. And then with that small gap, that's where I'll, I'll push my little towel in there. Just to keep it from not going back together. I just make my way around the grill, just like this. Okay, and once I got half in, put the bag in there. We got two more on top. There we go. 
So for the 16s and 17s, sometimes I come with the chrome uh, bezel around here for the older models. It's just a single insert. Um, there's no need to remove all the additional screws around that holds the shroud onto this uh, inner grill piece. So you're just wanting to remove the inner piece because all of our grills are a direct replacement for this spot. Okay guys, uh, here's our Tacoma Raptor grill, one of our best selling products. Stock when you uh, buy it with or without lettering. This is how it'll come. Uh, we apply the lettering afterward if that's an option that you want. You'll get a wiring harness uh, with your uh, for the Raptor lights along with an Attifuse. Then if you want to change out the Raptor lights, it's in addition. You the embers come stock no matter what. Then if you want to upgrade to something uh, different, for example, these. Uh, on this specific grill that we're going to assemble, we're going to add some smoked white lights. We also have clear white and smoked amber that you can add on. Um, super easy addition. There's just two screws behind each light. Uh, then. Um, for the 18, the 21 models with just the TTS sensor. Uh, right here is our kit. Uh, right here is your, you're gonna get your bracket, um, your plexi to protect the garnish, and then the hardware to mount the TSS sensor and the plexi to the uh, bracket, and then the bracket to the grill. Um, for this uh, model, we're doing it on 2020. There is no camera, uh, but if you did have a camera, this is the bracket that you'd get. Uh, cameras link right up into this. Uh, these two bars would be missing um, in which you would install your camera prior and then install your bracket with the TTS sensor. But for this model, um, we're just going to be doing uh, just the TTS sensor. Step one to this grill is we're going to be switching out these Raptor lights for some smoked white ones. Let's flip this over. Okay, and then you're just going to use a number two bit um, and take out each of these little screws holding in each light. Then from the front, pop them out. And just like that. White ones. Well, the reason I like these the smoked versions of anything is it kind of gives a more stealthier look uh, during the day, but the brightness comes out just as bright as if it weren't smoked just because the LEDs are pretty strong. Once you get those pressed in, um, be careful uh, with tightening these. The uh, we are, you are screwing into plastic, so just be aware of that. And go slow and just go to snug. There's no need to. Uh, go past that and if you're not sure or comfortable with the drill just use a hand screwdriver uh, so that you don't mess it up. Um, I'm leaving the two in the middle undone because that's where the TTS sensor uh, bracket will mount to along with down here. Um, so once I have the TTS mounted to the bracket I will then apply it uh, to the back of the grill here with the new uh, screws for this position. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna apply the, the main grill piece to our grill. Careful with your TSS sensor. And then once you have that all positioned, everything just clips in. Cool, now that it's all clipped in, uh, we can take our bracket, plexi, and hardware and mount our TSS sensor uh, to the back of this thing. On our plexi, after you get it uh, taken apart, uh, remove the films. So sometimes the blue, sometimes the black, just depends on the plexi. Um, but make sure you remove both films so you have a clear sensor. Okay. Dump out all that right here. Then you're going to take your sensor, and you want you want it in this orientation, okay? With the uh, I guess uh, attachment points facing down, okay? So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your plexi, apply it to the front side of it, okay? Holes and everything will line up well. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your black hardware. I'll do the bottom ones. 
first. Bottom orientation is toward this flat side. Okay, once you get that one on, place that on your bracket. Then you're gonna add a washer and a lock nut. Then you're gonna come over to the other side. Same thing. And you want the soft, mushy part toward the metal. So that over time, with vibration, doesn't rust. Cool. Then I recommend using some sort of wrench or uh, something to hold on to the nut. And then you can use a drill to compress everything in the front. Okay, on these, you don't want to go too tight uh, because if you compress that rubber washer too much, it'll angle the camera downward. So you want just enough to where you start to see the, um, the rubber kind of start to push out, but not too much. Cool. Perfect. Okay, uh, now that this is all ready to go, um, these two screws up here are what's going to be holding uh, the top part of the sensor. Uh, so this will set on the back part of the light and then you'll use these two uh, to screw straight into the plastic. And then down here on this bar on the back side, uh, there's gonna be 3M tape in which you will remove and clean this surface, or clean the surface of the grill uh, for install. Okay guys, last part of this uh, section of the install is actually installing the TSS sensor on the bracket with the plexi. Uh, make sure that the plexi is clean because we have to clean it after. Um, once this is good, what you're going to do first is remove this little strip of 3M tape down here. Clean the surface in which you're going to put it onto. I already cleaned mine. Okay, then this is going to be positioned up here. Make sure to line up these two screw holes on the top. And then you can go ahead and press this section of the bottom down. Hold it for on them 10, 20, 30 seconds. To make sure you got some good adhesion. Hold it for a good while once that's on. Um, then you're going to add the screws up top. This is probably the most sensitive part of the whole install. If you strip these screws out, um, you're going to need a new grill. So make sure to go slow. Um, you're just going to snug. Just like that. Um, they can strip out and will strip out if you go too far. Just make sure you go slow. I don't recommend using a drill. I recommend hand tightening it. And once it's on, it's nice and tight. Uh, the last part of this is make sure this is plugged in. I always like to zip tie mine right there on the top of that. And then we're gonna head out to the vehicle and install the Raptor lights. Okay guys, before we head outside, um, I went and took off the top of the fuse box cap so I can go over where we recommend linking your Raptor lights into your system. Um, right here is a 10 amp INJ, that's your fuel injectors. Uh, every kit comes with an Adafuse. Um, the two fuses, um, you can actually use the two fuses, one from inside the box and then one from the stock position to go here. You want both of them to be matching. Um, so we're gonna take that and crimp that onto our wires here. Take the fuse. Or an imbecile. It'll look beautiful. Once you take this, also crimp this guy. Cross crimp it. They have a ground and you're positive. This will lead into your fuse box and link into those fuel injectors. And then you can link this where uh, you ground on your battery. Okay guys, we just finished up our Tacoma Raptor Grill install. We're gonna go ahead and apply it onto the vehicle and finish this up. Cool. Um, so before we forget, um, we're gonna add the clip onto the top and clip in your TSS sensor. So you got two clips and the two screws just to finish up the um, harnessing of the grill actually to the vehicle. Put these here and I'll go grab my drill.
Okay guys, I just tightened things up. I got my 10 millimeter on. We're gonna tighten up these two bolts and then we're gonna link up the Raptor lights into the Adifuse uh, that goes into the fuel injectors and then we're gonna be done. Uh, to install our Raptor lights, um, you're gonna uh, weed the wires all the way over. I went in front of this directional plastic piece and then behind the headlight to the side of the battery to where we're back near the fuse panel. For these, it's just one per light. It's just for cleanliness. Uh, make sure you do zip tie the wires up or else they're gonna be dangling behind the grill while you're driving. Um, up along the top part of this uh, grill piece, there are some holes that you can thread your zip ties through tighten all the wires upward so that you can route them over there a lot cleaner. So we brought the wire up through here. I uh, actually harnessed it uh, onto the wire that pops the hood, the covering. So it's harnessed here out of the way. And the wirings are brought up here, so I grounded it here. And then the positive is on the adifuse. And I did make a little notch in the fuse box over here so that that adifuse can leave, but it's all cleaned up. You can't even tell it's here and um, lights will be on when the car is on. So when he turns off his car, the lights will turn off. Um, other than that, we're done here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, this concludes our Tacoma Raptor Grill install. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave any comments below. We try to include everything, but sometimes we do miss a few things, uh, especially unique questions. Uh, so just make sure to leave those below. Thanks.